Democracy Resolution 2020 will be fully executed by 28 February 2021. Particular attention should be paid to the provisions requiring renegotiation and amendment of the current agreements. Ladies and gentlemen, as we set out to implement the new regulations, I wish to affirm that the timelines in the implementation roadmap shall be strictly enforced. There will be penalties for failing to comply with the requirements. These penalties include suspension, revocation, or variation of licenses and registration certificates. The most egregious violations will attract charge and the prosecution under the Crops Act and the T regulations. In recognition of the Mombasa tea auction as a principal market entry vehicle and price dis discovery mechanism for the tea industry, I hereby direct the Agriculture and Food Authority to immediately undertake a technical evaluation of the newly installed e-auction system with a view to ensuring that it is operating in line with best practices for commodity exchange. In conclusion, let me conclude by urging all players in the value chain to work together with government and to play their part in these critical reforms. T is too important a sector to be left to cartels and the mindrumen. In government's goal, I must emphasize again, is to create an inclusive sector that properly recognizes and rewards the primary stakeholder the tea farmer. That cannot be achieved under conditions of poor governance and the systemic unfairness. Thank you very much. So that is my short statement. Basically, I'm releasing the schedule, the timelines on the implementation of the tea regulations.